I'd like to invite you to our ball. This is the anesthesia office. Thanks a lot. I'd be glad to join. This is where the anesthesiologists would have been working out of. You can see that on the table here is a list of dates when they were performing. Like 2014, 2014. This is a very old book. But this is like all the doses that they gave as well. Also on the desk you can see this badge and this badge represents that they are a Communist Party member. There's these little Chinese flags as well. In China, being an anesthesiologist is one of the most lucrative jobs in the hospital. And that's because people, before their operations, they will slip the anesthesiologist some money in a red envelope. They call that red envelope Hong Bao. That's just saying, hey, give me a little bit extra. I don't want to feel any pain. So if you want to be a doctor in China, be an anesthesiologist. This looks like those things they stick down people's throats in uh, operations. What is it? How do you know? Like that. <laughs> this looks like some kind of operating room. You can see you've got like all the scrubs for the surgeons. There seems to be some kind of medicine or drug here. Porter bind. Oh, wow. That's like an industrial bottle of Purell. We totally need that at the moment. There's loads of it. I think these are needles for sewing up wounds, putting stitches in. Yikes, that's sharp. Everything is still left behind here. This idea what this is for. If you know what this is for, please tell me in the comments. It's very long and scary. Holy moly, look at these instruments. Oh, wow. Look at this. This looks like it's expensive stuff as well. Look, it's made in Germany. Interestingly, though, it says West Germany. I don't think West Germany has been West Germany since 1989. Look, there's more of this equipment. I think this is all for heart operations. This one says stapling instrument. I don't think it means paper stapling. Wow, look at this. That's some real old school specifications. Tube shaped digestive tract stapling instrument. Yikes. It looks like the Starship Enterprise. some kind of medical records. There's a storeroom here as well. Wow, there's so much equipment left in here. It seems to be an Olympus lens. Focusing screen. All kinds of machines in there. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Anesthesia syringe made in China. Oh God, it's still in there. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Look how beautiful that is. So just here it says, keep quiet, preserve the quiet. And this one says, second surgery room. Let's go and have a look in here. It's a bit flooded in here. Oh wow, look at this. Let me 
is strange. Lots of the rooms in here are flooded. I wonder how many people died in this room. So we've just come up to this other room and it says like sterilization room. So this room. This room is sterile. Holy crap. I guess this is where they would like sterilize all the equipment. I have no idea what all of these things do. It's like little packages. Face masks as well. Those might actually be useful. Very useful at the moment. Look at all this equipment. A lot of this in China would just be disposable. But there's so much of it. Look at this one. There's so much equipment just left here. like those kidney dishes. I think they're called kidney dishes. Wow, look at this one. What the hell does that do? So you can see we're in the sterilization room and it's like a whole racks of these scissors. Look at this. There's so many pairs of scissors here. I don't think they're even scissors, they're some kind of mini clamps. There's all kinds of equipment in here. These look like they're some kind of, I don't know, tweezers? Like big tweezers? This room is an epic find, I love it in here. Probably the best thing I found in here though is all these uh, 3M masks. You know, you can say to me, uh, Bryn, don't steal anything from that hospital but these are very necessary right now. There's a shortage of them around China, and so I need these. These are coming with me. Right now, we're going into what looks to be another surgery room, and it looks like it's full of equipment. So we've got another room, and this looks like it's the surgical storage room for all the equipment. There must be millions of UN worth of equipment here. This looks like one of those things they open women's legs with when they have babies. Stirrups, I think. This looks like it's a respirator. You know, it keeps you breathing. Maybe when you're in a coma or something. There's drawers in it. I think this is an endoscope. There is some serious equipment in here. It's amazing to think that all this equipment is just going to waste. Topcom operation microscope. Oh, and a VHS player. I imagine that they were recording the operations in here. A Sony monitor. Some microscopes. A real hospital room. I love this building. So. It says something like ESW room. It's a big radiation sign on it. Let's see if we can get in there. Looks like these are blood samples or urine samples.
can see this is the dispensing station and up here it says Western medicine and over there it says Chinese medicine so you know in Chinese hospitals you can get both and this is the area where you can pick it up it looks like nobody's been here for a very long time some very mouldy dinner. Absolutely fantastic. We found a defibrillator. Defibrillator. There's a whole box full of floppy disks. Wow, these are all like in really good condition. Each of these could have like um, 1.44 megabytes. You see, it says Windows and MS DOS. Lots of photos of people as well. Oh, look at this one. This guy looks like a total hipster. Just found a box of TDK cassettes, six of them, still in their wrappers, brand new. I don't know if they're worth anything these days, they're only 60 minutes long. Shuo <laughs> Yingyu, that means speak English. So I love it when I'm exploring old buildings like this and I find like these old English books and it has phrases. It makes it sound like it comes from about 1955 rather than 1995. Let's take a look inside. I'd like to invite you to our ball. Thanks a lot. I'd be glad to join. May I take a bus to get there? You can take the number seven trolley bus. found a bunch of these floppy disks as well. Um, these are like the precursors to floppy disks. But the reason that they still use these maybe in hospitals is that a lot of the machines might be old and still run on the programs on these. So these companies still created these until probably like into the 80s and 90s, especially in China. It's kind of like retrofitting the machines around here. Look what's under here. It says smart shirt. Shanghai Xinguan and then underneath that looks like a dead cat which has been here for a very very long time you see the cat's skull and I know some of you are probably shrieking at me don't touch it don't touch it but we need to take a closer look at that oh look there we go Look at that little skull, it's tiny, it must have been a kitten. It's got such a tiny skull. I think cat skulls are actually quite beautiful.
just found this clock and wound it up and now it's working great. Can leave it here for the next explorers to find. <laughs>